Good morning. Welcome to Storytime with Miss Marie. I'm so happy to be here with you today. It is so nice outside. You know, we had some really cold weather, but it's warm today, and I hope you get to get outside and play. I have some fun things for you today, but we're going to start with our song. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. And I am very happy to be here with you today. Now, Miss Marie is recording by herself today, so I'm going to have to move the camera around a little bit. Y'all just tell me what you think. We're going to start with an Eric Carl. It's a new book for me, Roosters Off to See the World. Roosters Off to See the World. And I'm going to turn the camera and see if I can get the book a little better, okay? Roosters Off to See the World. Now, this is a Simon & Schuster publication. Okay, I hope you can see that. Let me see. I'm going to move it this way. All right. One fine morning, a rooster decided he wanted to travel. So, right then and there, he set out to see the world. He hadn't walked very far when he began to feel lonely. You know, roosters are usually in a farm or a barnyard with lots of other animals. Well, just then, he met two cats. The rooster said to them, Come along with me to see the world. The cats liked the idea of a trip very much. We would love to, they purred and set off down the road with the rooster. Now, I don't know if you can see it or not, boys and girls, but right here, there's a picture. There's one rooster and one, two kitties. Now, you keep an eye on that part of the page. As they wandered on, the rooster and the cats met one, two, three frogs. How would you like to come with us to see the world? Asked the rooster eager for more company. Why not, ribbit, ribbit, answered the frogs. We're not ribbit, ribbit, busy now. And so they jumped along beside the two cats and the rooster. And I don't know if you can see it, but there's the rooster and the two cats and one, two, three frogs. See it? After a little while, the rooster, the cats, and the frogs saw one, two, three, four turtles crawling slowly down the road. Hey, said the rooster, how would you like to see the world? It might be fun, said one of the turtles, and they joined the others. And right here, there's the four turtles. Can you see that? Okay. Well, the rooster, the cat, the frogs, and the turtles were walking along slowly because of the turtles. They came to a brook. That's like a little creek. And there were five fish swimming in the brook. One, two, three, four, five. I know there's a glare on the page. I hope you can see this. Where are you going, asked the fish. We're off to see the world, said the rooster. May we come along, asked the fish. Delighted to have you, answered the rooster. And so the fish came along to see the world. Blah, 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 blah. Well, the sun went down. The moon came up. It began to get dark. Where's our dinner? Asked the cats. Where are we supposed to ribbit, ribbit, sleep? Asked the frogs. We're cold, complained the turtles. Now, I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's the fish. See, they're walking along the stream. 
And just then, some fireflies came along. We're afraid, cried the fish. Now, the rooster had not really made any plans for the trip around the world. He had not thought about food, and he had not thought about shelter, where to spend the night or go if it started storming. So he didn't know how to answer his friends. After a few minutes of silence, the fish decided it might be best if they headed for home. So they turned around and went back. They wished the others a happy trip as they swam away. You see the moon? I wonder if some of you remember the pic book that we have done with the moon. I might have to do that one again. Papa, give me the moon. The turtles began to think about their warm house, and they turned around and crawled away without so much as a goodbye. Hmm. Now we have three turtles, I'm sorry, three frogs, two cats, and a rooster. See, right here. Well, let's see what's going to happen next. The frogs weren't too happy with this trip anymore. First one, and then the other, and finally the last one. Hop, hop, hop away. They were polite enough to wish the others a good evening and a safe journey as they disappeared into the night. And there's our moon. See the man in the moon? cats remembered that they hadn't finished their meal, and they very kindly wished the rooster a happy journey, and then they too headed for home. Now the rooster was all alone, and he hadn't seen anything of the world. Well, he said to the moon, to tell you the truth, I'm not only hungry and cold, but I'm a little homesick too. The moon didn't answer as it too had disappeared. So the rooster knew what he had to do. He turned around and went back home again. He had a very good meal of grain, corn, and then sat on his very own perch. And while he went to sleep and had a happy dream, all about a trip around the world. Look at that pretty rooster tail. Can you see it? I know there's a shiny. How about that? And a good book. Give it a round of applause. Y'all know how to do that? Okay, so Miss Marie's been busy doing some things, and I want to show you and tell you it's February, and in February we do all kinds of fun things here at the library. So you need to come on down and check it out. And while you're at it, you can check out a blind date with a book. Now, a blind date means you're going out with somebody you don't know anything about them. I don't know what book this is. It's not quite finished yet. I've got to do a little more to it. But this is a blind date with a book. And so is this one. This one says... Learn how Henry Box Brown packs himself in a box and gets shipped to Philadelphia. Hmm. And this is a box book. Some of you know about box books. So you can come and check out a blind day with a book. We have lots. We've got box books and we've got easy books and we've got chapter books. We've got blind date with a movie and popcorn. So y'all come on down. The best part about it is when you check out a blind date with a book, you get to rate the date and tell us what you thought about it. And then your name goes in a drawing for a really cool prize. Miss Myra's been putting together some really cool stuff. Speaking of cool stuff, 
I hope you're going to be at the Mardi Gras parade at the end of the month because we are going to be there. And SLP is right around the corner. All oh, boys and girls, there's so much going on. Come on down and see us. Now, what do I have here? Hmm. It looks like a ladybug. And I don't know if you can see, but there's... Hmm. I'll get a piece of tape. One, two, three, four five ladybugs five ladybugs five little ladybugs climbing up a door one flew away and then there were four four little ladybugs sitting on a tree one flew away and then there were three one, two, three. Three little ladybugs landed on a shoe. Where's your shoe? Do you have a ladybug on your shoe? One flew away, and then there were two. Two little ladybugs looking for some fun. One flew away, and then there was one. One little ladybug sitting in the sun. He flew away. And then there were none. No ladybugs. No ladybugs. That fun. Miss Marie likes doing stuff with y'all. It's a lot of fun. Come on down to the library and see me soon. Have a great day, boys and girls. Bye-bye.